Hey everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a fall inspired makeup look. If you want to see how I achieve this look, please continue to watch. Let's get started. So I'm going to start off by using my Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid and it will act as a base for my eyeshadow. Moving on to the brows, I'm going to take the Benefit Cosmetics Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I believe this is in the shade number 5. And I'm going to fill in my brows. Now, I don't fully fill them in. I do that once my foundation is on completely. So I'm going to take a bit of concealer to clean up under the brows. You guys, my brows are kind of messy right now because I need to get them done. But I am growing them out so they look a little bit uh, messy. <laughs> Now I'm going to go into my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and apply that all over the eyelid. This will help my eyeshadow to blend a lot easier. I'm going to take the Lime Crime Venus Palette and I believe the eyeshadow that I'm using is Creation. So it's like an orangey brown and I'm going to pop that in my crease and blend it windshield wiper motion. The brush that I'm using is from NYX Cosmetics. I love this brush for blending. I will put the number in the description box down below. Next, I'll be taking this gorgeous chocolatey brown eyeshadow. This is Fudge from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to pop that right into the crease, make it look a bit more defined. I'm using the MAC 224 Blending Brush, but I'm also going to go back in with my NYX Cosmetic Brush just to blend out any harsh lines. Now I'm going to go back in with my Max Off Aqua Paint Pot and I'm just going to place this on the eyelid. I want the lid color to be really defined and I'm going to take this champagne gold shade eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to pop that onto the eyelid, try not to go above the crease. It's almost like doing a cut crease and then I'm going to go in to the fudge eyeshadow just to define the crease a bit more using an angle brush. Next, I'll be taking my favorite gel liner. This is the Inglot 77 gel liner, and I'm going to create a wing liner. I'm using an angle brush. The brush is from Zoeva. I love using angle brushes because it's so much easier for me to apply my wing liner with. I just It's just a lot easier. Now, for my glitter, I'm going to use this base. It's by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm not sure what it's for. I don't think it's for glitter, but it worked perfectly. So, I'm going to use the Copperella Glitter by Violet Voss. This glitter is so gorgeous, you guys. I don't even think my camera is doing it any justice right now, but I'm going to pat that onto the eyelid. Whenever I do glitter, I like to do my liner first because it's so much easier to do the liner. Okay, so once I apply my glitter, I like to go back on top with a liquid liner just to make the liner look a lot darker. I use the NYC liquid liner and then I also clean it up with some concealer on the side so my wing looks nice and sharp. Then I'm going to add some mascara to my natural lashes before I apply my falsies. And the falsies that I will be wearing today is by Iris Beauty and these are in Fearless. So I added some dual adhesive glue to it and let that glue get a little tacky before I apply the falsies. And I'm going to blend those lashes into my falsies by applying some mascara to it. So now we're going to move on to face. I'm going to grab my makeup wipes and I'm going to wipe my face because I do have glitter fallout. And you don't want to have glitter all over your face before you apply your foundation. That is just not a good look. Next, I'll be taking one of my favorite uh, primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I haven't used it in a while, but I really do like this primer, actually. It does help to minimize pores, and it makes your foundation last all day long. Now, I'm going to do some color correcting under the eyes. You see that? I do have a little bit of, you know, dark circles under the eyes. So, I'm going to use a orange concealer to color correct. And I'm using a damp beauty blender sponge to blend it out. I'm going to go in with my favorite foundation. This is the Matte Pro Longwear Foundation. I'm using the shade NW43. With the Matte Pro Long Foundation, I find that using a concealer that is really creamy works really well with this foundation. It blends a lot easier. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in the shade 3.75. And I'm going to use it to highlight. So I apply it under my eyes, down my nose, the center of my forehead. I do have a more detailed video on my foundation routine. You can check that out. Once I apply my foundation, I like to lock it and set it in place. I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Powder. I don't apply a lot on my brush because this powder is full coverage. For my contour, I love using the Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder. I believe the shade is Chestnut. And the brush I'm using is actually a pretty good dupe to the MAC 134 brush. This brush belongs to my girl Sandra Deluxe. This is the Morphe brush. I don't know the number, but I will put it in the description bar down below. 
Moving on to baking, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to apply it into the highlighted areas. I also applied under my contour. I love to bake my face because my makeup lasts longer and it just looks more flawless. Now to dust away the excess powder, I use the Smith 112 brush to dust it away and I don't keep the powder on for very long. I actually only keep it on for two minutes. Now this right here is a must in my makeup application, MAC Fix Plus Spray, just to get rid of that powdery look because I don't want my makeup to look powdery. And this also helps with my highlighter to help it glow. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and complete the eyes. I'm going to take the eyeshadow fudge and cognac and mix them together. And I'm going to use a flat definer brush. This one is from MAC and I'm going to place it under the bottom lash line and really push it in there. Then I'm going to go back into the Venus palette from Lime Crime and I'm going to grab the eyeshadow creation and I'm going to put it on a pencil brush and blend. You want it to be nice and blended on the bottom lash line. Next I'll be taking the darkest eyeshadow and this is Icon and I'm also going to place that along the lash line so really close to my lashes. And then you guys, now I do not recommend doing this. You can use a nude eye pencil to do this but I didn't have one beside me so I just use my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I place it in the waterline. This is going to make the eyes look larger. I don't usually do nude in the waterline. I always do my black because I don't know, I just always do black. And then I also add some mascara to my bottom lashes and to complete the brows I'm going to use benefit browsing and I use the angle brush to apply and I'm going to go ahead and apply some bronzer this is the matte mineralized skin finish in dark snatch that face and for my favorite favorite part ever you guys know I love to glow I'm using my Laura Geller gilded honey I believe this is the morphe m310 fan brush I hope I'm right I apply it on my cheeks down my nose and like at the tip of my nose and I go in with my makeup addiction cosmetics highlighter in snow gold this stuff right here bomb yes I love it <laughs> and I'm gonna just blend that out make sure that highlighter is popping And I'm really loving these NYX Cosmetics Ombre Blush. This one is in Strictly Chic and I'm going to apply it on the apples of my cheeks. Now moving on to the lips, I'm going to take the Lime Crime Salem. It's a beautiful brown. If you don't really mess with Lime Crime, you can use like Modus Cosmetics Rust and Roll Liquid Lipstick. It's actually a really good dupe. And this is pretty much the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys going to see next and I'll see you in another video very soon. I love you guys. Bye.